so I'm Chantel and this is my brand new makeup channel and um, yeah so I'm gonna do kind of my everyday foundation routine and uh, yeah so I hope you stay and watch and let me know what you think so the first thing I start off with is a primer uh, if I remember I tend to forget a lot but when I do use a primer it's the Revlon uh, Beyond Natural Smoothing Primer and I just kind of focus it in like area areas where there's lines or pores and then whatever's left on my fingers is kind of everywhere else. So I'll start off with that. And I don't use very much. I kind of start off with a little bit, kind of like that. And then I rub it between my fingers, kind of, you know, wherever there's like little lines, pores. And I'll put a little bit more on, like that. Make sure it's all blended in. And it's a good thing to use um, a concealer, which I actually don't have at the moment. Um, I'm actually going to use this Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse in like the lightest color. <laughs> and um, it's a little bit, I don't have very much left and I don't use it very often either. But it's a little bit like harder. So it can kind of act as like a concealer too. And just kind of put it on some spots where I have blushes, and I'm just using my finger for this too. Blemishes are like redness or whatever. My face ha tends to get like naturally red a lot. The foundation that I use is actually, like, my lover. It's a Revlon Color Stay, and I use the one in ivory and in, for combination oily skin. And I love this stuff. I've been using it for probably like over a year now, and wouldn't change it for the world. I usually use um, one of these foundation brushes, this one's by MAC, and I've had this one for a long, long, long time. And then I recently got this Quo one, it's just from like a drugstore, like Shoppers Drug Mart, and I've been using that one as well. And just start putting it on my face. There, that feels better. It's smoothing on so much better. And don't forget to blend, you know, into your neck, into the hairlines. You don't want to have those nice mask lines. <laughs> And I tend to focus, I put a little bit more kind of like in the middle to the bottom of my cheeks because I tend to get really red there. And make sure you blend really well as well um, so you don't get like streakiness. So you want it to look as natural as possible. So 
So I went ahead and finished the rest of the foundation and blended it in everywhere so it's all finished up. Um, just really be careful around your nose and stuff too. I find I really have to blend really good in the corners of my nose and on my nose because I have a lot of blackheads and stuff and you can probably see them. But whatever. So next I kind of take uh, any kind of sponge and I have, it's kind of really bad, um, some kind of deep lines under my eyes and my foundation tends to set in them sometimes. So I kind of just gently dab the sponge there to kind of get rid of the ex excess foundation that's settling in and do it really gently. I'm taking my beautiful Body Shop powder brush and the wonderful Body Shop all-in-one face base it's called and uh, mine's in shade number two because I have very fair skin and looks like this. And this stuff is awesome too actually if I'm having a lazy day or something and don't want to put foundation on this has awesome coverage on its own. So I don't put very much on just kind of a little bit to set the foundation on the nose a little bit, down the neck. I put a little bit down here, like I said, because I get really red down here on my cheeks. And then just kind of blend it up here. And then whatever's left, I put on the top of my cheeks. I don't like too much powder there. I don't want to like look dried out or anything. And then blend it into the and bronzer. Um, the one that I usually use, it's by Prestige. And um, yeah, it's just some kind of bronzing powder that I really like. Mine's all broken up and stuff and I've had it forever. And um, yeah, I really like it. So for this I use a Body Shop blusher brush. And um, it's kind of different than like a normal blush sort of brush but I don't know I really like how it puts it on and it blends it really good so I just kind of tap it into this a little bit lightly and I don't want too much on there so sometimes I kind of blow it off or tap it off and then you know you kind of do that fish face and I sort of put it like in the crease I'm really interested in trying um, some cream blushes sometime because I don't know sometimes I find with the foundation and stuff and then a powder blush that it it's kind of dry looking oh and I blend it kind of up here a little bit and on the jawline not the classiest with this either I just kind of put it on on my nose, a little bit on my chin, and like kind of just the T-zone where the sun would hit, even though it's winter in Canada, but a little bit of color never hurts. I use, I don't always use this. After this, I usually use this Rimmel um, bronzer in sun bronze, and um, I don't know, I really like the color of those two blends together but I'm feeling kind of different today I'm going to use this covergirl kind of pinky colored one and I'm going to take my MAC blush brush and um, kind of just dab it in there a few times and put this more focused on the apples of your cheeks and then blend outward Again on this side. And 
a little bit in the T-zones again to use my powder brush to kind of fix it up a little bit or if there's too much kind of blend it in kind of make it look a little bit more natural instead of just like ta-da there's color on my cheeks this body shop um, shimmering waves in shade blush and that kind of use that as my highlighter and again I take the MAC brush and I kind of Focus on the lighter colors, but then I'll like put a little bit of the other color in. And I focus it on the tops of my cheek here and then kind of blend it out. And then sometimes I take a little bit of just the highlight and put it on the top of the cheekbone there. And then sometimes I'll dab it on my nose a little bit, and then just like that. Some little bit of Body Shop bronzing stuff, but it has like sparkles in it. And I'll take my MAC brush and I kind of just blend that in. And I'm going to take my powder brush one more time and just kind of blend all of that in. And one last thing that I like to do, um, sometimes you know your foundation gets into your eyebrows and stuff like that. So I take this um, eyebrow pencil, it's called Red Earth, and I think it's just from the dollar store, or not the dollar store, I think it's just from um, the drugstore or something like that. Um, brownie beige color and I don't like to pencil in my eyebrows like hardcore so I just kind of put a little bit in them just to kind of like like color put some color back into them since like the foundation gets into them sometimes so I just kind of messily do that and then I take the other end of it like this that's a little brush and then I just kind of brush it through blend it And like follow. So that's basically about it. You know, I did my kind of normal everyday sort of foundation full routine. And um, yeah, so you know, tell me what you guys think and you know, leave me requests and stuff like that. I'll be posting all sorts of eye videos and stuff. I love doing different looks with eyes. And uh, excuse my hair, I know it doesn't look the greatest. I really need my hair dyed. <laughs> And uh, I just sort of put it in some kind of messy bun today. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I hear from some of you soon and I'll keep the videos coming. Thanks.